What is good internet? It is Spirit of Paradox here and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to talk about the current state of the MCU and how I'm feeling about it as a fan. So I have grown up with the MCU since the very beginning. I went to go see Iron Man 1 and Incredible Hulk at the cinema when I was a kid. I even collected the action figures they had. I even had the Mark 1 Iron Man toy, Iron Manga. I had Bear the Incredible Hulk figures too. I had that glowy chest Hulk, the one with the boxing glove car. Like I had Bear those figures. I even bought the games, like the movie licensed games for them. So yeah man, I was always just been a big part of the MCU and I've just loved it up until Phase 3. And the journey with phase, up to Phase 3 was just fantastic. It was like everything a Marvel fan could ever want with the MCU. It did become formulaic before Phase 4, but it was tolerable because of the great storytelling that we got, including with the climax with uh, Avengers Endgame. But ever since Phase 4 came out, I have really just lost my love for the MCU, and it's gotten to the point where now I don't care. I'm more interested in the comics even though the comics aren't really doing too well, both Marvel and DC, but I get what I want out of a comic than any MCU movie nowadays. Before people used the straw man, I was very well aware even before Phase 4 started that Phase 4 was going to be like Ultimate Fallout, for example. So the big event happened, and it's basically everything's winding down, we're introducing new characters and then we're going to restart with the the next uh, three phases like with the, what they did with phase three and try and get like another saga out of it. But the quality of phase four and including Ant-Man Quantumania has really dipped and Marvel really have just watered down the whole MCU to where it's gotten to the point where they're just outright changing characters from the source material and think because they can do whatever they want people are just going to like the changes. I would say since phase 4 the changes you've made I don't think I've liked any of the changes or the deviations from the comics. Like for example the show I was really looking forward to the most in phase 4 was Moon Knight and they got that wrong. Like, they reduced the amount of personalities they, that uh, Moon Knight has. They also changed the actual character's personality as a whole, Stephen Grant. They made him an absolute wuss when he's not a wuss in the comics. He's the more calculated personality out of the other personalities Moon Knight has. He's calm, collected, smart, the, the detective out of the personalities but Stephen Grant is just a guy who's got no confidence in anything he's a wuss and they're always portraying the characters in the MCU to be idiots or insecure guys who don't have a sure of themselves and for some reason they always add a female character with every show they've with everything they've done in phase four there's always a man and a female and I'm not sexist or anything I have no problems with women being in power at all but it's why are always the women more assertive like more like more courageous than the male characters in the MCU like it, it, it's fine to have that but why is your dude always the idiot like really oh let me give you an example Thor Love and Thunder, they made him an absolute idiot. Did you, like, if we look at what happened with Thor and his journey with the Infinity Saga or the Infinity War and Endgame, he went through a lot of shit. He went through a literal universal war and tried to bring everybody back. Like, that was, like, well, I would say realistically it's way significantly worse than World War II but I'm going to use this as an example. Do you think the soldiers who survived World War II and served and, and risked their lives for, the, for, for freedom, 
Do you think they were walking about being buff buffoons after they came back from the war? No, they were traumatized. They had PTSD and they weren't the same person as they were uh, before they went into the war. They've changed. But with Thor, he's basically regressed into a child. He's an idiot. He hasn't grown up as a character in general. Yet he's supposed to be a god, an Asgardian god, who, who are much more wiser than humans, got so much more in, information and history, and yet Thor is out here being a buffoon and is being insecure about the woman he loves in the film. He finds it so difficult to tell her how he actually feels throughout the film, and I'm like, really? You went through all the fuckery you went through in Infinity War. You lost your family, you lost your people, you lost your friends. And you're struggling to tell the woman you love how you really feel. Like, y y you know, it it it's, it it's just like, dude, you were calm with risking your life and potentially going on a mission where you may never come back, but you're struggling with a gal. Like, like, can't, like, like, who wrote this? Like, like, that's how I operate. Yes, I do have a sense of disbelief. But when I, but when it comes to the point where you are literally trying to, like, how, how would I say this? You're trying to test how far my logic is, or logic that I did, oh, how, how do I word this? Fuck! Like, you are testing my sense of disbelief to a ridiculous level, Marvel. I do believe with your current situation, which I'm gonna get to, you are gonna change it up and you are listening. And I do believe Marvel are listening. And that is the next part of the video. So, the latest piece of controversy when it comes down to the MCU is the firing of Victoria Alonso. The reason why this firing is so big in the internet right now is because Victoria Alonso was, has been a part of Marvel Studios for 17 or 16 years around that around that time and she's been when she worked on Iron Man 1 so she's been around since day 1 basically but the reason why she was fired is because of breach of contract and now she seems to want to sue Marvel and Disney and it's just like Marvel and Disney, every decision that they seem to make just makes them look even worse. And it's like, yo, for Marvel, real talk, you need to get rid of some people who are working at your company, man. Because there are people who are not fans of your brand, yet they are in charge of your brand. You know, like Victoria Alonso was out here giving people or um, special effects teams ridiculous amount of, amounts of work with ridiculously short deadlines. And if people stated that they couldn't reach the deadline, she would just outright blacklist you from the industry. And it's like, yo, so people are having to do so much more extra work with ridiculous deadlines and they've got some crazy woman threatening if you don't get the work done you'll get blacklisted and it's like yeah i could really see why that would affect the final product i really understand how that could but for some reason marvel didn't seem that way because marvel were too busy focusing on politics and things that people just don't care about in general look at the box office numbers that they've been getting they're focusing on all of this diversity and nobody seems to care. Like there's a small section of people who constantly scream and shout about it and they don't even bother to go and support the film that they want diversity in and basically nobody wins. Everybody just loses out. The fans miss out on a good story, Marvel miss out on money and Disney starts to get angry at them and starts making big crazy changes. So. For me people, I am still a fan of the MCU. There are things I am looking forward to, this phase anyway, 
and it's only two things and that is Loki Season 2 and Secret Invasion. I have heard some changes are happening with Thunderbolts but uh, Ghost isn't going to be in Thunderbolts but m my opinion is that that's not the Thunderbolts team. Zemo should be the head of the team because in the comics Zemo was the person who founded and created the team. So in my opinion if you're not going to have Zemo as the leader of the group it's basically Thunderbolts in name only like I'm not interested I don't I don't care for Ghost I don't care for Red Guardian I don't care for Yelena Belova like I don't want the B Tech Black Widow give me somebody else who's not a Black Widow like yo I wouldn't mind seeing Night Thrasher or getting um or getting some other unknown characters you're always going straight for the or all new, all different Marvel phase as well. And let me talk about that because I actually haven't spoken about all new, all different Marvel. Like, Marvel Studios seem to think doing all new, all different Marvel again is going to work. Like, people, do you remember after Secret Wars how badly uh, all new, all different Marvel was received yet for some reason they're giving us characters from that from that era like iron heart and bloody kamala khan it's like yo no one likes kamala khan kids like kamala khan not marvel fans who read the comics kids who watch the cartoons the, like the young ones that's who miss marvel is for it's not really for marvel fans no one likes her captain marvel Captain Marvel was good in her binary days, but now she's just an angry feminist character. She's just miserable, always complaining, being a Karen. Literally, my mum's name is Karen, by the way, and my uncle's name is Kevin. So you know, oh, so you know, I have to deal with it twice. I like Kevin's the, the male Karen. You get me? So I've got to deal with that. So I know Wagwan when it comes to these things. So, all new, all different Marvel flopped really badly. In fact, Marvel had to delay pretty much everything for a good couple of months. Like, I think it was like a, a couple of months things got delayed because of how poorly received all new, all different Marvel was. So, they had to bring like Marvel Legacy and make new runs on the old characters because nobody wanted... The all new diverse versions of beloved superheroes or the new superheroes. No one wanted them. But for some reason, Marvel don't understand it failed, but they want to do it again. Like out of all of the history to get Marvel characters from, you go to the one where the most character most fans don't like. It's because this because loads of the people who are choosing these products are not Marvel fans. They only know about the recent comics. They don't have any interest in reading the comics. They only go for the new ones because they don't want to read old comics. I know people who are like that to this day. They're like, oh, I don't want to read anything that's like five years old. And I'm thinking that like, that is the dumbest fucking mentality to have. Like, oh, uh, uh, that you be surprised. Like, people that I know are actually like that. And it's like, you lazy little gits, man. You know, one of them ones. It's like, oh, I don't like the old graphics. I want something new. And it's, ugh, let me not go there. But anyway, as of right now, and the current state of the MCU, I'm really not happy. I really do believe the MCU is fixing itself with the firing of Victoria Alonso and really just slowing down on the amount of content that they are pushing out and I've also heard Marvel are going to be making their own CGI studios. Okay, let's see how good that goes. But in my opinion, I like. I really think Marvel just needs to go back to the drawing board and really need to understand who their audience is. I understand you want to diversify and add more people to the to the audience on the fan base, but your core fan base, the one who are going to be giving you the most money, 
are nerds. So they're dudes. Like, they're regular dudes who are nerds who buy your products. Like, I buy your products. I buy your your comics. I buy your toys. I buy your movies. I buy... Oh, well, I've got Disney Plus. So I pay for your Disney Plus and so on and so forth. So, for me, it's just... There's no heart in the MCU. There's no love in it. Nobody actually cares about what's going on. Everyone just seems to be about, oh, I want to do my own thing. I can do this because I've got this vision. Instead of actually, you know, respecting the source material and giving Marvel fans Marvel stories. You know, instead of, oh, talk about this person's going through an issue about homosexuality okay but why are we talking about this when the world is potentially going to end like there's fuckery going on and we're talking about things that aren't important to the current situation depending on what scene you're in or it's just another cheap pointless joke that's been poorly written and that's another thing replay value for the mcu for me in phase four has really dropped like if you watch a lot of the mcu films and you watch most films more than three times the jokes that they insert in the films are not funny anymore it's first it's funny for like your first two viewings and then after that the joke isn't funny and it just hurts the replay value marvel really do need to change up the formula when it comes down to their dialogue not every MCU movie has to be a clone of Guardians of the Galaxy. And that's another thing. I'm actually not a big Guardians of the Galaxy fan. I think that is the one IP from Marvel. Oh, it doesn't matter like, how the film is. Like I've just never been a fan of the Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm not into like the jokes. Like I'm not into jokey comics. I'm, I'm, more, I'm more of a serious tone. And Marvel have done the serious tone before with like Civil War, uh, the Winter Soldier, even Infinity War, Endgame, Black Widow. Like they've definitely done some serious tone films and they just seem to be deviating away from it. And then we talk about the most recent product we got from the MCU and that was Ant-Man Quantumania. And it like... <laughs> Do you remember those days, like in the early 2000s, when they made like superhero movies, but they were so crap? Like they were very far from the source material in lots of ways. You remember that? That's what Quantum Mania felt that felt like. Kang had no presence. He was hamming it up. And I know Ant Man is supposed to be comedic and that, but like I think that's what hurts and hurted the film. It's the comedy. Like, I'm not a dick with that really, really weird, weird version of MODOK. Like, complete deviation from the source material. And I don't know why they keep doing it. But, like, if it's not broken, don't fix it. I, like, really, like, there's sometimes in the comics where it's like, yeah, some things do need changes. But it's like, what, that, like the thing that I would have said you could have changed with Kang is his suit i have always always hated his 616 suit even the ultimate version because like, it's the same suit i have always hated the comic book kang suit like bro my guy's out here wearing purple and green and wearing madonna's old boots like what the hell like the changes to his suit that is what was needed because kang's suit in the comics sorry people i love kang but it's one of the worst comic book suits I have ever seen. Green, purple, and blue. Like, that, no. Like, no. Even the Hulk's green and purple. I actually don't like the green and purple look. I prefer when the Hulk wears, like, ripped jeans. Like, oh, green and purple for me, it's, it's not really my thing. But, I mean, you, even though you are seeing me wear green and purple in this Avengers video game footage... This is actually the suit from Ragnarok. I actually really do like that suit the Hulk has. I've always wondered why the Hulk just doesn't stick with like the green scar armor. Because I would just love Hulk wearing that all the time. Instead of just wearing ripped up clothes. But I'm getting off topic here. 
The MCU has an identity crisis. It doesn't know if it wants to cater to one, the Marvel fan, or the political activist on Twitter who do nothing but screech and complain about how bad their lives are and thinking screaming on Twitter is going to make it any better. But Marvel, adding politics into your story isn't a bad thing. Sometimes politics can really be helpful towards a story and sometimes it can be something very bad for it. And unfortunately Marvel just doesn't know where the medium is, where the right balance is. They just want to stick to one side and shove it down everybody's throats. And if anybody complains about it, they just call you an ist and a phobe. And then when that happens, the fan is like, okay, if you think I'm an ist and a phobe, I'm just going to leave. And now that's what's happening. And Marvel are out here wondering where everyone's gone. Why aren't they making any money? You didn't listen to us during Phase 4. You were talking about all of this superhero fatigue, which I do believe is somewhat true. I do believe there is fatigue from the superhero genre. Like, we've had so much of it now. It does get a bit boring. But I don't think that's the right... I think that's just an excuse for Marvel to take. You know what the issue is. You know people don't like it. But, unfortunately... People who work at Marvel believe in those things. So are you, do you want people to make movies and not add the things they believe in? It's very, you know, when it becomes political, it just becomes a giant swirl of just never-ending of debate, you know? This is why I say the MCU shouldn't have even bothered with politics or anything like that. But that is my thoughts on the MCU people. You know how I feel about the current situation and its state. What are your thoughts on the MCU? Are you enjoying the current state of it or are you not? You know what to do in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I do lots of Marvel content. At the moment, I am doing content on Ultimate Marvel. So that is from Ultimate Marvel from the Ultimate Universe. I am doing stories from the Ultimate Universe in a lead up to the new event coming this June, the Ultimate Invasion. So if you guys are a big fan of the Ultimate Universe, this is the channel you want to be on. And I will be doing Marvel content in general here. And I will be uploading some music, but that will be coming later down the line. But thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all of your support and have a nice day.